Yo, this is crazy. Foot Locker came through with this massive box. Holy cow. I'm hyped to show you guys what's inside. Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new vlog. New York City today. We are going to New York, baby. I got my duffel bag. I'm packing up as we speak. Luggage bag here with a ton of merch. It's just filled to the brim and I'm actually not going to be able to pack all the merch with me because of that and because you guys also wanted to buy merch online. I thought it wouldn't be fair if I didn't have some online. So I set a bunch of the merch aside for you guys to cop online Tuesday. Uh, so Tuesday online, I will drop this merch the brand new sneaker talk merch but today i got some packages to show you guys a streetwear brand hooked it up big time they gave me i think i think all of their collection that drops at midnight tomorrow or midnight tonight um they gave me all their collection and it's straight fire so i'm excited to show you guys those streetwear pickups that haul I wasn't expecting anything in the mail at all today but this giant package came through and it is heavy it is so heavy let's get it what the heck? Reindeers. What? <laughs> Ooh, there's a little note here. Okay, let's give it this note. Christian, happy holidays from your friends at Foot Locker Canada. Yo, let's go. All right, let me try. And there's a lot of styrofoam. I don't want to break the styrofoam because it can get pretty messy to vacuum and clean up. So let me just... All right, I can't, I can't do this with one hand. Ah, I can do this. Yes, yes. There we go. Hey mom. I'm opening up the package that Foot Locker sent today. Check it out. This is a cool box. This is a really cool box. Mom, slow down. Calm your reindeer. Calm your reindeer. Let's pop open this lid. But this lid is cool. Holy cow. They have like half a snow globe here with some fake snow. That's cool. We've got a ooh, we got a Christmas sweater. Is it an ugly Christmas sweater? Let's uh let's take this out of the box right here. This little bag. I actually don't have a ugly Christmas sweater at all. So full locker, thank you for my very first ugly Christmas sweater. That's pretty cool. How, it's not that ugly. Okay, there's a unicorn on it. <laughs> I will be wearing this over the holidays without a doubt. Next up, we have some insoles here. These are like nice and, and jelly. So one of the insoles here says naughty. And then it has like coal, I guess, on the print of it. And the other one says nice, and it has the candy cane print on it. And then here is the most naughty one in the family. <laughs> we got a uh, Timberland and Foot Locker pin. We got some gingerbread themed. Oh, don't eat the silicone gel package, young lady. That's not a that's not a good idea. Timberland pins right here. And then last but not least. These look dope. Oh my gosh, let me pull these out. Exclusive holiday collection brought to you by Timberland, Foot Locker, and Tipsy Elves. So that's dope. Thank you, Foot Locker, for the little Christmas presents. I really, really appreciate it. Ooh, these are pretty dope. Yeah. These are pretty dope. I we like got that. These triple black six inch Timberlands. We got the uh, black leather laces. We got these like little things on the laces as well at the very end. We got the golden accents all over. I'm a sucker for black and gold. And then of course, we have these holiday themed laces, which are actually really dope. Red and gold, I've not seen that. And then that brings it all together. The thing that brings it all together is the fur lining at the collar. Man, that is festive. These look like they're gonna be really warm for the winter. And uh, yeah, these are dope. These are dope. Thank you, Full Locker Canada. I do appreciate these. If you guys do want to cop these, you can get them at Full Locker Canada. So thank you, Full Locker. You want to have it for like decoration in the house anywhere, Mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Sure. There you go. There you go. That's your Christmas present. Oh, my G. Yeah, that's your Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> you want to go outside, girl? Huh? You want to go outside? Yeah? Okay, oh, you look so cute with the bandana. <laughs> All right, let me get the lock real quick. And be free, my minion! Oh, they grow up so fast. Now let's get to some streetwear pickups. Oh man, did D Face Streetwear hook ya boy up? They hooked it up with a bunch of hoodies and crew necks, and this stuff is really, really dope. I talked with the owner of D Face Streetwear. They said that with the quality of stuff, like the actual quality of the gear, the clothing they have, they're trying to compete with Off White, and I honestly. 
I gotta say, this stuff, I tried it on earlier today. The quality of this stuff is so good, super comfy, and the designs are really dope as well. So if you're a fan of DFace Streetwear, I've showed you guys their brand on the channel before. You guys mess with them heavy. I actually have a promo code. They told me that the previous stuff from the older lines is gonna go on sale. You could use my code SNEAKERTALK20 to get 20% off of their previous line of their old collections on their website. So check that out if you guys want. I don't make any commission or anything like that, but that's just a code to give back to you guys for uh, DFA Streetwear if you guys wanna try them out. This is the first piece I wanna show you guys. It's a black crew neck. There's nothing on the middle, but on the right sleeve, they have their brand new Tiger embroidery on the sleeve right here. And then on the left side, you have some graphic print. We have DFA Streetwear, Rise Above All, Rise Above Power, Fall Winter 2017. And then when you go down to the sleeve, they kept that logo from the previous lines. I'm not even sure what kind of shape it is, but they have that DFace logo there too. One thing I should know, I think they also got rid of the, the word streetwear in their brand, so they're just called DFace. So I gotta start calling them DFaced more often. And on the very back of the crew neck, you also have some more DFace branding right here. DFace Toronto Limited Edition. white crew neck for the next piece right here. Nothing in the center once again, but on the right side, we have this like PVC kind of graphic vinyl. It's like a plastic kind of thing, it sticks out. It's like stitched into the piece. You also have that branding too. Then on the very back of the crew neck, we have the D face branding in this bold, bold font right across the top. This might just be my favorite piece out of the entire collection. I mess with this heavy. It's a black hoodie. We have the D-Face branding across the front right here. This was the same kind of design they used on the previous uh, shirts. We have these long drawstrings. They're longer than your traditional drawstrings. Metal aglets as well. It's a nice step above, you know, regular plastic. And then getting to the sleeve. It has the D-Face Society's expectations like print all over the side right here. And it's stitched in all along the side of the sleeve and then it's like that as well on the other side. So it looks crazy on body. And then at the bottom kangaroo pouch, you have D-Face Society's expectations, rise above all, rise above power, fall winter 2017. The one thing, please don't hate me D-Face, but the one thing I would, I would change personally is I wish you guys didn't have the branding right here because I think it just looks so clean if you just have all the white the white on the side, the white in the middle, and the white on the other side. The red pop is like a little bit extra. This piece right here would have been a 10 out of 10, hands down. But for me, it's a 9.5 out of 10, just because I'm not too crazy about the extra branding on the kangaroo pouch. But other than that, man, you guys nailed this piece. My favorite out of the collection. So this is the white hoodie that's next. We have the D-Face branding across the front embroidered in. It's not a print or anything like that. It's actually embroidered in in this silver color. And then on the left side of the sleeve, we have the regular D-Face branding right there. And on the right side of the sleeve, you have that D-Face branding on the side there too. They kept the uh, premium details going with the uh, metal tips, this metal silver tips. final piece is absolute flames. This might be one of the standout pieces from the new collection just because of what they did with it on the very back because it's so crazy. So let's get to the front of the hoodie. It says defaced in the black font all embroidered in and then it has this like red stitching around it. The drawstrings on this is also quite long compared to your regular drawstrings. We got these gunmetal black lace tips. Left sleeve, you of course have that D-Face branding. Right sleeve, you also have that D-Face branding with the logo, but wait for it, wait for it. On the back is where it's just, it's game over. Massive D-Face Tiger embroidery on the back right here. This thing is so sick, oh my gosh. And then underneath the D-Face Tiger, we have that D-Face Society's Expectations branding as well. That is 
the new collection from DeFace Streetwear. I do really, really appreciate you guys for hooking it up early. I was gonna buy some of the stuff and you guys just hooked it up with all the stuff. So thank you so much. I cannot say thank you enough. Stepping out of the house for a brief moment. We gotta grab some lunch. I'm getting really, really hungry. We're running out of time in Toronto. I only have about two hours left and I have to film like three sneaker reviews and get some other work done and possibly edit a video before like leaving the house to go to the airport because we want to make sure we're at the airport on time because one time I missed the baggage cutoff time by like 10 minutes one flight going to Texas and that forced me to get on a flight that was seven hours after so we got to make sure we get to the airport early today or else we're gonna be screwed but anyways let's grab some lunch where are my KFC gang at boy Ah, beautiful. Oh, baby. Hey, you see, let's get it. Now, unfortunately, I have to cut the vlog short right here, but I will continue vlogging the rest of the day. So make sure if you guys want to see my adventures in New York City and in Texas, you subscribe to the channel. If you're new, you hit that notification bell down below. And last but not least, for the comment question of the day, I don't have a prize for this one, but I'm just curious. When it comes to your fried chicken, your fast food fried chicken, what spot do you guys go to or which is your favorite spot? For me, I love Popeyes, I love KFC, but KFC I think is just, I like KFC more. It's cheaper, they have the $5 Phillips, and there's one literally a two minute walk away from my house. Popeyes is more expensive, Plus, there's like none nearby. KFC gang, where you at? Comment KFC gang if you're in the KFC gang. And if you're in the Popeye squad, then you're in the Popeye squad. That's fine by me. But comment down below if you did make it to the end. Let me know. Let me know by commenting where your loyalty lies when it comes to fried chicken.